welcome to the crochet crowd as well as my friends at yarnspirations.com. We're gonna do the waffle stitch crochet hat today using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. There are two different colors uh, that we're using. Iran is one and color B is gray heather. Now you should know that when you see this, this here is the first four inches and then the rest of it starts to come in. So once we understand what the repeat pattern is, you're gonna be able to bang that out pretty quickly. So here is my sample um, that I'm working on. I'm gonna do two hats, one for Daniel, one for I. You need a four and a half millimeter size US 7 but because I know that I'm a loose crocheter I've gone down to an F of 4 millimeter and this fits me like a, a <laughs> snug as a bug. So without further ado we're gonna get started right away and I'm gonna make Daniel's blue and mine gray. Hi I'm Mikey from the Crochet Crowd and thank you so much for joining our channel today. I'm here to inspire you and create magic with your crochet hook. Are you ready to play? Oh yeah that sounds good. Just to recap on how to open an oko, just put your hands in behind and close the window here and then just fold it back. And just release your oko from there and recycle your cardboard and then pull here and it shows the plastic that is holding it together. If they don't do that, people would separate this in the stores and then it would be a mess. So once you have that separated, you're just going to get the one that has the knot on it or the, the tie as you see and then just pull that out and it's good to go. You Today is my second attempt to ever do vertical fo uh, filming. So what this means is that it's in the vertical a long, a long ways. So it will be in YouTube on the sideways but then I can use the video. So just bear with me. I've done this a, a few years ago. People kind of kicked back and said no but it's now 2022 and it's getting more and more common to see vertical format. So, so I'm making the adult size because I'm as well make it for myself. So it's small, medium, and large. So you'll notice that it's one ball of each but if you just wanna do one hat you can just use one ball and do without changing color. So we have the two to four years of age, six to ten and large adult. I'm going to be doing the adult as I mentioned and here's the circumference just in case you don't know what that is. So when we have information on the pattern when there's changes, for example when we go and look and let's bring you nice and close here. And what we have here it says chain 56, 64, 72. Which one are you going to do? You're going to do the one that matches the size. So it's either uh, small, medium or large and you're just gonna concentrate on the number. So whenever a decision is made and that there's a change so you'll notice that two through four there's no difference because the pattern is just gonna be the same. It's just our starting is going to be different. So let's uh, work on this and let's begin and start our beginning chain. So let's begin. You can either chain 56 with the small, medium is 64 or adult is 72. So I'll do 72. So just chain the number that you want. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Stop at the 10th one and just pull the hook off and go into the beginning chain and put the hook in the beginning chain. I know it's darker yarn. Um, but we'll have to be, bear with me, I'll try to explain it as best I can and put it onto the hook and ignore that it's there. I want you then continue to count to the number that you need. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20 and go all the way to the number and I'll be right back in a moment. Once you have the number, I have 72, you could have 56 or 64. Just yarn over and pull through that first one and this one to close the ring and because you put it onto the hook as I showed you, this chain will not be twisted. So you'll be ready then for round number one. So we're in this pattern, chain two never counts as a stitch. So you gotta make sure that when you start with round number one it says chain one. That is not the first chain that you're going to be doing and so you have to make sure that the one that you're attaching to is the first up. I recommend that you go on the back hump of the, of the chain itself. Once you get the first one the chain will stay turned upside down and just half double crochet yourself all the way around the chain. I know it's harder to see with darker yarn but just bear with me. So you're just going to half double crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. You should have the same number that you chained when you went all the way around. So if you had 72 you'll have 72 half double crochets and etc. So please go all the way around and half double crochet on the back hump of the chain. 
So I'm coming all the way around. I have just counted to make sure that I have 72. You could have 56 or 64. Remember that that chain two that you started with is not a stitch. So make sure you don't include that as your count. So I do have 72. Before I join it I wanna make sure that this will sit flat so that there is no weird twist to it. And I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet. So ignore that chain two. It does not exist. And you're gonna slip stitch and verify by pulling it open like this to make sure that there is no twisting. And we're going to proceed now to uh, officially round number two. In round number two we're going to start the texture. We're going to chain two that does not count as a stitch. And you're going to go into the half double crochet that's directly below and you're going to make that as a front post double crochet. So just wrap the hook going into the post and out. Okay, so you're not going into the top of the stitch and just pull through two and two. So that's a front post. The next three are going to be a back post double crochet. So wrap the hook and come from the back. My thumb is co covering but just come in behind the next post and then pop it back out to pull that post back. Yarn over pull through, pull through two and two. We have other videos specifically here on YouTube for just techniques like that. So just yarn over and do the next one. It's a back post double crochet and then the next one. Keep in mind that until I tell you otherwise that there will always be three back post double crochets in a row. The next one around the next post is a front post double crochet and therefore you can see one waffle square. Okay, so then the next three are in the back post. And then what is the next one gonna be? Did you say front post double crochet? That's right. So just go into the front post. So I want you to alternate between that and go all the way around and the last three stitches that are left in this they will be in the back post double crochet because you started with the front post double crochet when you started this round. Continue that and I'll see you at the end of number two in just a moment. So just coming around to the last three stitches they are back post double crochet and you may think that it may be small but remember that this kind of a concept has stretching power because you're using front and back posts. It's very much like ribbing. So if you think it's too small just try it on your head if it's for you and you can see that um, how it will fit. So just attach it to the beginning a front post double crochet with a slip stitch. Try it on your head and you see what you think and we're going to continue then into round number three and four which will be the repeat for a while. So rounds number three and four are going to be repeated until you get a total of four inches. So this is what we're looking for. So we're right here. So once we get that done then you're ready to shape the top. So let's begin round number three. Round number three whenever you have it you're going to chain two. Does that count as a stitch? No it does not. You wanna keep the ribbing going. So you wanna keep the front post double crochet going. But in round number three whenever you hit it the next three they're just gonna be half double crochets in the top of the stitch. So you don't have to worry about the back post when you have round number three. So the three of those are just half double crochet. Then you see the front post here. So you wanna keep that as a front post. So the next three are going to be half double crochet. And then you see the front post here. Keep it as a front post with a double crochet. Do that all the way around for number three. When you come around to number three the last three are half double crochets and you're just going to slip stitch it to the top of the first front post double. So let's begin number four. Let's begin number four. You're going to chain up a total of two. Does that count as a stitch? No. So you're going to make the first one. You see it's a front post double. We're gonna keep it as a front post double. And then we are in whenever you have round number four the next three those half double crochets are now going to turn into back post double crochets once again. And then this will create another block that you'll see in the waffle. So these three are now back post double crochets. Like that. This is a front post double. 
So make it a front post double. The next three are back post double crochet and etc. So do this all the way around and then when I get around I'll talk to you about the repeating and the repeat will take you to where the color change is on the hat. You can decide to do what you wanna do. I'm thinking maybe the gray to switch to the blue and the blue to switch to gray uh, because I'm doing the two hats for Daniel and I at the same time. So do this and I'll say, see you at the end of number four in a moment. So the last three stitches are back post double crochet and then you join to the top of the first double crochet in the front post. So now all I need you to do is to repeat rounds number three and four until you get four inches and I am going to change the color. So um, this one I'm gonna change to blue at the top part and then this one I'll change to the gray and I will continue with the gray then it'll be easier to see the stitches for sure. So please now repeat rounds number three and four until you get four inches done and then I'll be right back in a few moments from now and we will uh, show you, I will show you how to change the color and we'll be getting through that process next. So for both of them I have them at the four inch approximate mark. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch the colors so then the top of this hat will be blue and the top of the other hat will be gray. Cut the yarn and I'll just show it to you one time only and you wanna just pull it through. I want you to grab a tapestry needle and I want you to turn it to the inside of the project. Any loose ends that you will have including the brim that you started with I recommend doing this. So just go down the stitch work Okay, don't allow the needle to go to the other side. And just go down and when you pull on it don't change the shape of your project. Just keep it taut but not to the point where it's ruining it look. When you uh, go through I recommend that you separate plies. Not just the strands itself but separate the plies and it will get stuck even better. And any loose ends that you will have that you will wanna do this. So. Um, I'm making both hats at the same time as I mentioned. So I'm going to do that for both of these and I'll be right back in a second. So let's start new yarn and straight with a slip knot on the hook. And I am switching this to the color gray and I'll continue with this sample and I'll do the other sample at the same time. So what I need you to do is that we're going to start and start off by just attaching it to the top of the first a double crochet in the front post. And that's just after the slip stitching. Now chain two and in the same front post double crochet you wanna repeat rounds number three and four. So just do a front post double crochet in the first one and in number three do you recall it's just doing half double crochets, right? So you're just changing the color but you're still continuing the stitch work. And then the next one is a front post double crochet. So please repeat now rounds number three and four. Now for the small size of the child of the two to four years of age you want to go so that it's a maximum of five inches so you don't have a lot more to do. For then the medium size of the older child of eight to ten years you only need six inches. And then for us adults we need six and a half inches. So please continue to repeat rounds number three and four until you get to the dimension that you need and then I'm gonna be picking you up and then we're gonna finish the top together and we'll have uh, doing, uh, doing this going forward. So I'll be using gray just so it's easier to see that and I will see you back here in just a few minutes. So finish to the size that you need and I'll be right back. So with the miracle, the power of editing, um, I got one done. I had a medical appointment in the min meantime uh, during filming. So I took a break and I took this one here and I finished all the top piece at the office. So what I have here is that it's completely done and now I'm going to take you through that. I've also been through the pattern once so it'll be a lot easier for me to teach. You should know that uh, the sizing that I have here is just slightly smaller than what's recommended in the pattern. You'll notice that it looks like equal bands and that's something that I decided for myself uh, to make it work for me. So you have to decide what's going to work for you. So when you go to measure this out in my particular sample it is six and a half inches but you will notice that when I started this um, here I wasn't all the way at four inches when I had it. I was three and a half and then when I did this one here it's three. So it's a total of six and a half. So now I'm going to be getting to shape the top. Let me take it to the pattern and show you something that I did notice when I was at the office and it'll help, it'll be helpful for you to know as well.
You will notice in the instructions that it has the increments of the writing. That's just the number of stitches in the round but all of the instructions for shaping the top all the way through one through seven is the same information for everybody. There's just a different stitch count at the end of each round which is no big deal. So the amount of steps that we need to do is just if it's a smaller hat then you just have to less, less repeats really. So let's begin shaping the top and we're gonna begin the first round. Let's begin our first round. We're gonna start our first decrease and we're gonna start by chaining two. Does not count as anything right? And we're going to then come back down and do a front post double crochet. Now we're in the round. We finished on a fourth so we're in the round where we're just doing half double crochets but they're not normal. The first one is gonna be a normal one so a half double crochet in the next stitch. But the next one we have to put two together. So to do that you're gonna wrap the hook and going into the next stitch pull through. Wrap the hook going into the next stitch pull through and then you have a total of five loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through all five. That was a two together half double crochet. So let's begin our repeat then for the remaining of the round. The next one see it's a front post keep it as a front post double crochet. The first one after that one is one half double crochet by itself and then the remaining two that are left you're gonna make those as a two together for half double crochet and then keep repeating that. So it's, it's a front post double, one half is in the next and then the next two are together. Please do that all the way around. This is the first round of shaping the top of the hat. When you get back around the last one is a two together half double crochet. Just join it to the top of the first double crochet front post. Let's move on to round number two. In round number two we're going to be using the back post double crochets again. So let's begin. We're going to chain up two and make the first one as a front post double crochet. Then see these two? It's one and then this is two together. They're considered just two stitches. Make each one of them as a back post double crochet. There's no decreasing on this stitch. We're just giving it more time to flex in. So there's only going to be two double crochet back posts between each one of these front posts double crochet. So just make it a front post in the next one and then the next two are back posts and repeat that around for round number two. The last one on the second round is a back post double crochet. The last two are and then just slip stitch it to the top of the first double crochet front post. Let's begin number three. Number three. We're going to chain two does not count and do a front post double crochet in the first one and then the next two you're going to make them as a half double crochet two together. So just put them together with the with that stitch and then just jump to the next one front post double crochet and then put the next two together. And I need you to do that all the way around. This is round number three. Coming around on number three putting the last two together and then just slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three. Let's move on to round number four. Number four we're back to the back post double crochets again. You're gonna chain up three and put the first one as a front post double crochet and then the one that is the two together half double crochet from before that just becomes one back post double crochet. Okay so the next one is a front post double crochet and then the next stitch here which is the together stitch becomes a back post double crochet. Please do this around round number four. The end of number four you're just going to make it as a back post double crochet because it's the last stitch that's available to you and then just join to the top of the first chain three and let's move on to round number five. Round number five chain up two doesn't count and you're only focused on the front post double crochets so just make them as a front post double crochet and then jump to the next front post double crochet and make that as a front post double crochet and keep on doing that all the way around for round number five. Once you've done the last front post double crochet just attach it to the first front post double crochet and let's move on to the sixth round. Round number six you're just going to chain up two doesn't count and in the same one that you have the adjoining with I need you to just apply one half double crochet in each stitch 
all the way around. So please do that for number six. I'll be, I'll be right back. Once you've done the last half double crochet you're just going to join it to the first one. Okay pull things nice and tight and let's begin our final round and it's almost closed at the top. So let's do number seven next. Okay number seven you're going to chain up two and then you're just gonna put the stitches to get two together. So the next two just put them together as one and you keep doing that all the way around. Okay so those two are together. So look at the next two and put those two together and etc. And I need you to do this all the way around for round number seven. So I'm coming around and I'm just going to slip stitch it to the top of the first half double crochet. You're going to notice that there's a small hole left. So because this is the end I want us to trim the yarn long enough that you can put it through a tapestry needle. Pull it through the loop. Now grab that tapestry needle that you have and I want you to gather the remaining of the opening stitches left. Okay it's just small and just gather by going around. You can also go straight across if you want to and just kind of pull it but I like to pull it so it's equally shut on all sides. So I just follow it around and I pull. And now that it's been pulled I go opposite and then I'm just gonna go opposite this way. So I'm making a cross formation across the top of the hat. Once I'm satisfied with that put your hand on the inside. If you're using a sharp uh, tapestry needle just be careful and then just go down through the top of the hat to the interior and pull the hat to the inside or inside out and then just weave it through. Don't go all the way through the fibers just stay on the back of the hat and just tie it into a knot. So it's the inside of the hat so you don't have to worry about uh, hiding the loose ends so much but a good practice is just to go back and forth a total of three times and get it done. So if you're just gonna spend a few more extra seconds then just do that and then especially if you're giving it for charity finish it all the way. Now you have to decide if you're gonna do a pom pom. We have tutorials available on making pom poms. The instructions also include that information on there that you'll see on how to make one by hand. Um, you can do that. You can leave it as is and make it into a beanie. Um, I'm very much of a pom pom person. So I am just going to get my pom pom ready. So I'm gonna give the pom pom a bit of a shake before I start playing with it just to kind of fluff it out. Where the tag is hanging in this particular type of pom pom I'm just gonna safely cut it out. Okay and what I like to do with this it, and this is machine washable this particular one so you can actually leave it on permanently. So um, I'm just taking the loop it is stretchy and I'm just gonna equally divide it in half and just cut. Now I wanna take those pieces here and with my crochet hook I need to go through two separate areas on the top of the hat. So with the inside so just two separate areas across the top. Now because this, the strands are so short I wanna make sure that I don't have to pull them any longer. So I'm just pulling those stragglers to the inside or that those tails to the inside and letting it rest. And then I choose a different spot for the next one that to pull out and pull through. And carefully I want to open the top of the hat and hopefully I can see them which I can. So I'm now going to just tie this into a knot. If you prefer it's harder to do with this so I don't recommend it but um, you can just tie it into a bow tie so you can remove it later um, but you may wanna use a separate strand to sew that on there onto the pom pom if you wish but because I know it's machine washable I'm going to tie this into a full knot and be done with it. Okay and therefore you have this all in there and the hat is good to go. 
good to go. Wrap it on up and make it a great gift or even wear it for yourself or your family and this is available in all the different sizes that we talked about and this is the Waffle Stitch Crochet Hat by Yarnspirations.com. See ya and have a good one.